girl Julie back with another bag of chow. Look at these edges. They crunchy. I've been pulling out BDB from the bag. Yes, I was. I got a good one too. I had to, I just, she just wouldn't pull through. I had to pull the whole thing out. That's, that's what, that's what we call beady beads in the kitchen. It's just like a knot that's just stubborn. All you do is pull it. Just pull it, see? I just pull it. That's all I do. So I'm here with the girls. It's a mess. We got a lot of cleaning to do. We're not doing that right now, so. Hey, Bobby. Bobby. Merry Christmas. <laughs> what are you doing, Bobby? I'm trying to make a post, a Christmas post for our, um, for our Instagram for this committee. Oh, Always working, just like her mama. <laughs> Hi, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Is that what she used to do? Oh, Jesus. gosh. She didn't quite make it. So the citrus got a, a few things, not much. We are about to open some stuff. Okay. Uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas. And I want to say Merry Christmas to you guys. And thank you for always loving me and my shenanigans. It is what it is. I love me. <laughs> and I got one thing for the girls. But it's not done. So they may get it tomorrow. It's something I still have to work on. It's, it's in my head. I gotta work on it. So we'll see how that, go, how that goes. So we are done <laughs> tearing up <laughs> this living room. So, got it to me? I got this for the girls, right? So they can start planning their meals and you know be a little more what is it proactive planning so they can split this it's a 90 piece and the girls can split this and Sydney has stomach issues and stuff and they have one compartment two compartment three compartment even if they have their snacks and they carry around their pre-planned snacks on campus their little little meals just to be more purposeful okay then I got the girls. We are all obsessed with our electric toothbrushes. Did they need another toothbrush? No, but you are supposed to change your toothbrush. I don't know how often, is it every six months, three months? Something like, Something like that. that. So it was time and this particular toothbrush, it was an upgrade to their toothbrushes. So do you think that head if it on mine? The extra head? I think so, because the base seemed the same. So they split this, they split this, and then we've been talking about whiter teeth, and so I got this for them. I got these little cozy socks. But Sydney, this book is actually really, really nice. It's really nice. It's like, I want one for myself. 50 morning and evening devotions to unrush your mind uncomplicate your heart and experience healing today okay so and you just pick it up and just you know read something in the morning to get your day going read something in the evening to close out your day to be reflective on the things that you're grateful for whether it's small or big um i got the girls these are really cute these little cases and then within a little case i know you know they both in college um, these are little cards where they can write notes and stuff. Is this a fine tooth, a fine point pen, or is it like a big marker? It's probably a big. Yeah, not crazy about that. So, and I don't know, just to promote uh, good study habits and stuff like that. So this, you know, this was the cutesy stuff and little index cards. You know, that was the little cutesy stuff. Then. It's your stack, Bobby. Oh, so Bobby's already getting started. Ugh. Bobby's going into law. And I told her she cannot go into law and not be a John Grisham fan. 
I read this book many, many years ago and then just had to watch the movie. It is such a good book. So I read it a long time ago. Oh, child, I even scratched the, the, the prices off. And she's a Colleen Hoover fan. So I assume she didn't have this book. So I took a risk. Is this one of the new ones? Uh, no, it's one of her older ones. Oh, I'm sorry. You no. sure you didn't read this? No, I've only read her newer ones. So... And then she has the ultimate air fryer at her campus, okay? And I just figured give her some food ideas. You know, they're all going into the new year trying to be more mindful about what they put in their body and so they don't spike their glucose, spike their sugar. <laughs> so I was inspired by this gift. Look, she already working on hers. I was inspired by this gift by... The gift that Bobby's team gave the manager? No, our coach. The coach. Assistant coach. Assistant coach. So what was that? So every year we do coaches gifts because they, our coaches usually get us a big gift. This year we were trying to think of some gifts to do. So one of my teammates was like, let's get her my assistant coach, let's get her a calendar because on her desk, she just writes on like sticky notes or like she'll just write down like the day on like a notebook paper, a piece of notebook paper, and then like things for the week. So one of my teammates was like, <clears throat> why don't we get her a big, like, you know, those desk calendars? Mm -hmm. We were like, why don't we get her those big desk calendars? And so- Oh, she wasn't even using a desk calendar? No. Oh my goodness. And so <clears throat> we were like, let's do that. And then we were like, we were doing individualized gifts for everybody, meaning like every note would be pers every coach would get a personalized note from each of us. And we didn't know what to do for our assistant coach. So I was like, why don't we do, there's 13 of us. So why don't we each personalize the month, each month of the calendar? Cause desk calendars are pretty big. And so I was like, let's personalize each month of the calendar. Like I'll print off everybody's face. And then we like, glued our face on like one of the corners and then we wrote her a note and then we decorated the month Aww. and it was super cute they she loved it and she thought it was like they were like this is the best christmas gift that um we've ever gotten before and so it was really it was really really cute i'll have to get some pictures of it so you could see but it was really really cute and that's all our stuff. We, we we're gonna be packing that up don't look at it uh so fast forward to today christmas day um let me see yours sydney so i was inspired by that story and so i bought the girls this planner i bought them both this planner it's the goal getter here and now 16 month lifestyle planner so what what have you noticed in the planner so far bobby basically it is a monthly weekly planner so essentially they give you a month layout that's on this side and then <clears throat> they give you a monthly goals and then you flip and then you get into your your weekly layouts and so on the left side you have the weekly layout and then on the right side you have a bunch of different things that you can look at throughout the week so you have a sleep tracker meal planning things you want to make habits of you can put a little weekly highlight and then a to-do list for the week let's see and then it also has the habit tracker by days what do you mean habit tracker so it's like if i want to make a habit of drinking a gallon of water every day then you can put a gallon of water a day oh. and then you can put did you do it on monday nope you don't get to color it in but did you do it on tuesday then you get to color oh, it in and so on so they give cool. you spaces for four habits oh that is so cool and it keeps you, can... you accountable yep mm -hmm. and then there were some other things in the front as well that you could do like for the year there is a big mood tracker in the front you just assign colors to different moods so if on January 1st, I was mad all day, or I was really happy today, like today was a very happy day, then you could color it in, I don't know, blue. And then you, there's a little key over here too. So there's a mood tracker and then there's 
also some notes for that. And then it goes all through 2023 and 24. Let's see. Oh, uh, and there's a bookmark in the back. Some pages for notes in the back too. I love a little bullet, bullet, bullet pages. And the stickers. Oh, yeah, they're over here. And she also got a bunch of stickers. So I've been peeling off some of these and putting them on some days. I have a wedding to go to next week. So there was a little <laughs> wedding sticker. The 30th. Um, I have a wedding to go to. Actually, that's this week. Today's Monday. This weekend. I have a wedding to go to this weekend. So I put that on there. And then I also put my birthday. I'm turning 21. And 21. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then I also put Christmas. Um, let's see. And there's just a bunch of little things in here. Payday. <gasps> Need that. <laughs> Cleaning. And just some cutesy little stickers as well. They're super cute. And there's other ones over here. There's some, this sticker book, which is just like quotes and all that stuff. And then these are just some cutesy stickers, some hearts and some letters and some pictures. I just love the calendar idea. So I'm going to add some stuff to the calendar as well, you know, so, you know, when they least expect it, they turn to that month, maybe there'll be a message for me or a little note of encouragement, so on and so forth. So I want to also add a piece of me. So let's just say, all right, this is worst case scenario, worst. Boy. Let's just say you gotta push the, the, the on button hard. Boy. Something happens to me, but they'll still have those notes, a little reminders of mom throughout the whole the rest of the year i'm just saying that's worst case you know i could live for another 50 years okay so i'm just saying but you just never know because we're not promised and so if i take the time to put those notes they'll still have those cute little notes and reminders okay does that make sense hmm. so i was gonna do that but i i don't know i ran out of time i don't know so i just gave it to them and Bobby got started right away. I don't know what Sydney is gonna add to hers. And so just try to dress her well, up with some stickers. Yeah, you really need this, Sydney. And I, I, I don't know, I keep saying to myself every year, I'm going to do a digital calendar. I'm gonna do a digital calendar and it just- Make sure Google Calendar will say. <gasps> use Google Calendar too. Macy got me a planner. She was like, you only use Google Calendar now, don't you? I was like... Oh, oh so you yeah. already have a planner? <laughs> yeah, it's in my car. But she was like, you can just re-gift it and I'll get you something else. I was like, no, I can't do that. So you want me... So you're going to re-gift it? I didn't get one. Oh, sure. You could have that one. You... So you're not going to use... Well, I was going to use both of them. How are you going to use both calendars? <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't make sense. So let me see the one Macy got you. Okay, my keys are upstairs. Okay. So, you know, I really need it for my brain and then encouragement. So I was going to try to use a digital one, but. I feel like you're, you like handwriting. I think I like handwriting too. I, I don't know. So you're not going to use this then? No, I will use mine. I will use both of them. Do they have vanilla? Oh, yeah. And no, I'll use mine because there's things that I like to hear. Like that you don't one. Huh? We need two sticks of softened butter, but there's only one softened. Just half the recipe. We don't need that many cookies. You think? I don't know how to do that, you guys. If you need one, if you need two sticks of butter, you need one. If you need one yeah. cup of flour, you need one half. You need a half a cup of flour. But so is there a half tablespoon? Oh yes. Oh guys, let me show you what they got me. E e e e e e e e the girls got me. So, you know, people are going to have, they're going to say what they're going to say. And I have to learn <laughs> not to let it burn my biscuits. But, you know, somebody say something, I have a right to say something too, right? <laughs> so, anyway, um, and my girls are not judgmental about me trying out the car life stuff they're not judgmental like okay if that's what you want to do do you we'll figure it out 
So, you know, they're, they're, they're supportive. But, you know, you have so many other people on the outside looking in. I put my life out there, so it is what it is. They heard me talking about, oh, I just wanted to see. So it's almost like I'm experimenting, too. How much can you take, Joy? And it's just like an experiment as well. Um, Just like they have, what do they call those, triathlons? How far can you push your body? You working out. How much weight can you take? You, you're just challenging yourself. Iron Man, yeah. So they got me. They was like, Ma, you don't need to you don't need to do that, Ma. <laughs> so they got me a heated blanket. And so I wanna know how much energy is gonna take from a battery. Even if I just turn it on for a little while, that battery is heavy in my car. Okay. We're gonna tell her about the other thing. So we tried so hard to find the the cart um we can't, we can't find it in stores Cindy went to two different stores i went to you uh, find it on it you find it on on amazon yeah, that's why i ran into you we could not find it in oh, stores. oh they're looking for a rolly cart because sometimes so my stuff if it is does pull a lot at least you can keep your battery you know in the car. yeah you won't have to lift it in and yeah out. especially like with it getting colder you might have to take it in a little more if you use that a lot right um but we tried to find it i was like maybe it's amazon all right you guys. and it and it folds down it collapses like, down real skinny mm -hmm. you asking for help i'll use a whisk <laughs> sydney you want to start the song off what song? Whatever song we were singing in the kitchen. This is one stick of butter. Uh-huh. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Hey, hey. Jingle all the way. Run, run. Hey, hey. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Where's Bobby? Oh, what fun. Some for calling the too. Oh, okay. Hold on. Maybe let me put my clothes back on. So you want? You want to? You want to? You want a full the recipe? You want a full recipe? Well, maybe we should. So these are the holiday cookies. They call them Russian tea cakes or sand dunes. I can bring some oh, to like Macy and her family. Microwave. Yes, she did. <laughs> it's probably your tea, but like... Uh, what? Is that okay that we fill it? Or make the full recipe? Yeah. And I've been trying to eat this, guys, for the past hour. Go ahead, Mom. I'm trying to... And then we made sweet potatoes, because Cindy wasn't going to eat those sweet potatoes. What? Yeah, it was. No, you weren't. Mine are sitting right there. No, nah, those were the ones I used. You oh, weren't, you weren't going to make those. Yes, I was. I was going to bring in the Courtney's house. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, we made some mini sweet potato pies, and I've been trying to eat breakfast. What time is it now? Uh, I think we're trying to go. Two? One? One thirty? Y'all know the oven is on? Yeah, it's further. What time is it? Is it? Uh, one. Please tell me you don't put that flour in there. No, I just put uh, some vanilla. Okay. That's good. Oh, you think? Oh, oh. So I've been trying to eat my little sausage and boiled eggs. This is the leftover stuff. This is tea I made like ages ago. So I'll just make it into um, just some ice water. No sugar. Though.